Praise the Lord. Look for, I'm reading from verse 18. The Bible said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Messiah. This is the Lord Jesus speaking. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Messiah, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to announce release, pardon, forgiveness, freedom to the captives and the recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed, who are downtrodden, who are bruised, and who are crushed by tragedy. Those who have been crushed by tragedy, by afflictions, Jesus said he's come to set them free. He said to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the favor of God abound greatly. This is the day when salvation and the favor of God abound greatly. It's like an overdose of salvation. So I, I saw in this dream, I saw that God's children, church people, many Christians had been kidnapped by Satan's army. In this dream, the army of Satan had guns and they had kidnapped all these people. And in that dream, we gathered and started praying. And I was talking to even my husband in that dream and saying, do you realize how many Christians have been kidnapped by the army of Satan? And he said, yes, in that dream, you're saying, yes, you can see some are kidnapped because of bad habits, some because of spiritual laziness. Some of them, they never read the Bible. Some of them never pray. They've been kidnapped. Some of them by familial spirits, some by ancestral spirits, all sorts of things, territorial demons, they've been kidnapped. And we were all praying for that rescue mission to get these people out. And do you know what child of God, as we were still praying immediately, we had a knock on the door. And as the door opened, I saw them one by one coming in, running, saying they've, they've released us. They've released us. And I was crying in that dream. I was wailing as I was hugging them. And I see some of them here on the prayer line. I was hugging them. We were crying. We were celebrating and, and thanking God for rescue. We were thanking him that God has done it. God has done it. He has set them free. I just want us to thank him this morning that according to this word, our Lord Jesus, the Messiah. He has come here this morning to announce release to the captives. Whatever has been the bondage, he says he has come to set free the oppressed. Is there anything that has been oppressing us? Any problem? Whether it's, you know, that you don't have the right papers to work freely, whether you don't have the right papers to stay in this country with peace of mind, whether you're downtrodden, you are bruised or crushed by tragedy. Maybe there have been tragedies in your family. The Bible says he has come to set free. He is, we are proclaiming the favorable year of the Lord. This is the day when salvation and the favor of God abound greatly. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your favor touch every life here. Let your favor touch every family. Let your favor touch that man, that woman. Let your favor touch them, Lord. Let today be their day of divine turnaround. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are declaring, Lord, the year of your favor, the acceptable day of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more tragedy, no more your life being used to recount sad stories, no more afflictions in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. When my sister was reading Hebrews 13, 6, I was just rejoicing. I was just celebrating because it's just confirmation all the scriptures we've read today that our God is on the throne. Our God is mighty. Our God is awesome. He said we take comfort and we are encouraged encouraged and we confidently say the Lord Yahweh is my helper in my time of need I will not be afraid what will man do to me what will devil do to me what will witches and wizards and warlocks do to us when Yahweh the self-existent God who created them is the one helping us father we thank you we worship you this morning. We are grateful because you are willing. You are willing. There is nothing you're not willing to do for your children that you love. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus name. Amen.